<laughs> Mount Vernon. I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Up there in Mount Vernon. Okay. So where do you get into acting in Mount Vernon? What do you do then? Do you, do you come to Hollywood? What do you do? Well, I, I was in it for a couple of years, and uh, I was up there uh, I doing a comedy in a, in a, in a play. Okay. Um, and uh, at the time, uh, they were casting a, a dramatic film up there. And uh, so the, the, ca the casting director came and watched me perform. And, and afterwards, uh, I went down there, and I said, what do you think? And she said, I think you're, you know, one hell of a comedic actor, but I don't think you have the chops for drama. And uh, did she say maybe you should try basketball? Did she, that? <laughs> did she say that you didn't have the chops for, yeah, for drama? Oh. I was I was a dramatic actor, so. Well, um, that, now does that hurt? Because I went through those, and it, sure. it was terribly painful when mm -hmm. you get fired or someone didn't like your work. Was that did, did that just shut you down at that point? No, no, yeah. I just uh, overcame it. So uh, where is she now? <laughs> I don't know her name. She might know mine now. Oh. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's let, let's talk about the passion. How do how do you get this part? I mean, is this is overwhelming? Okay, he wants you to play Jesus. That is. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, well, I got a phone call from my uh, 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 agent telling yeah. me that uh, Steve McAvity, the producer, wants right. to wants to meet with you on a surfing movie. Surfing movie. Oh yeah. So apparently it was changed from the book. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, Jesus is a Malibu. <laughs> okay, so you go in thinking it's a surfing movie. Yeah. So okay. I'm I'm having this conversation for right. a while with uh, Steve McAvity, not knowing Mel Gibson right. is going to show up. So he shows up, and I immediately, you know, got a bit nervous, and uh, I was a little bit more cautious in how I spoke, and yeah. uh, and then the subject started to change to. Um, the passion um, and about passion films in the past and I stopped him and I said you want me to play Jesus and he said yeah he, w he wouldn't even well, look at me no, that's a good Mel that's, yeah. a, good, that's a good Mel <laughs> give me a little give me more of that Mel <laughs> <laughs> that's a good Mel that's a very good Mel yeah, cool yeah okay okay so did you have it at that point, or you just discussed? Did he say, "I want you"? You got it, or? Mm, um, well, yeah, it was done. But wow. the next day, he called me up, yeah. and uh, he said, uh, um, "Hey, uh, Jim, this is uh, Mel." I said, "Mel, <laughs> Mel, Mel, who?" He said, <laughs> he said oh, Mel, Mel Brooks, you know. And uh, and uh, <laughs> so he, uh, he I, I said, "Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just know you as Mel Gibson." And uh, anyway, so we were talking about it. He said, you sure you want to do it? I said, yeah. And, um, and he said, uh, all right, you know, it's going to be really hard. And, um, and he was talking about the Aramaic, the, the, right. the, the Hebrew, and the, and the Latin languages. I said, it's fine. Yep. And, uh, and then at the end, he said, uh, I, I said, oh, my God. He said, what? He said, my initials are JC, and I'm 33 years old. And he goes, God, you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you <laughs> did you did you beat out any other Jesuses? <laughs> I mean, when you get there, is there a long line of Jesuses sitting outside waiting to go in for this movie? Or did you, was he? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I mean, I've been to these casting calls. There's like a line of guys. It's like Survivor. Those auditions. All Jesus is outside there. I mean, were, were you the, like the first choice? Do you uh, know? He told me that he saw the thin red line, and that's that's what uh, inspired him to do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. right, okay. So how does one? Prepare. I mean, you go home and you say to your wife, "Honey, I, I got Jesus." Yeah, absolutely. I was o overwhelmed, and so I, I began with uh, walking on my pool twice a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Walking on the pool. Walking on the pool. All right. Look, we'll take a break. We'll let right. Jesus win that one. Come back right after this. Talking with Jim Caviezel, starring in uh, The Passion of the Christ. Let me ask you about uh, Mel Gibson as a director, because right. when you, you know you hang around with Mel, he's like goofy. Yeah. I mean, he's like a goofball guy, and, and, and then I see these um, this amazing work that yeah. he got. It's hard to connect the two. Yeah. Well, he's a he's a genius. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And a wonderful human being. Very intense as a oh, director. Oh yeah, but he's 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 got a heart of gold. Oh yeah, He's a very does. very real man, yeah. and. Uh, uh, but working with him is like waltzing with a hurricane. <laughs> you, 
he nev you never know where he's going to take you. Yeah. Um, he's he uh, he's because he's such a brilliant actor. He can show you exactly what he wants. Right. And he doesn't have to, um, you know, dialogue with you too much. And it really paid off in this film because we got, you know, actors from all over the world on this, and the communication is difficult. Now y you you were injured quite a bit in this in this film. Yes. Weren't you? I mean, there's a. A scene where you, you you're being whipped by the uh, the Roman guard. Well, tell tell people what happened there. You got hurt pretty bad there, didn't you? Um, it's the scene where I'm uh, being scourged and um, my hands are uh, tied to this uh, pillar. And uh, during the take, um, the the the, the uh, centurions they they come in and they hit you like this, and, right. and then it progresses. Right. And uh, but we didn't uh, rehearse the progression, and so there's I mean, are you wearing any kind of there's a there's a metal sheath behind my back about a foot away, right? And uh, that would protect me, and I would react off the right. off the sound. Um, and then eventually, what happened was the the, the Mel says, "Come on, uh, you know, get up." And I'm re he says, "If fur ain't flying, you ain't doing nothing." And he says, "I want you to come in and whack like this." Right. And so, um, but then he says, "Take a running start," and he goes, "You know, cricket." You know? And uh, so uh, Europeans know cricket, and so um, you can't tell them baseball. And right. so um, the guy wound up and uh, it hit the metal sheath, but it went over and hit my back. And I fell over, and uh, the most bizarre thing happened is I, I couldn't breathe. It was so uh, painful. The autonomic response was just you lose the air. It's like uh, suffocation. Wow. And I looked over at the guy and, and gave him a look and probably a couple of curse words. and. <laughs> And I said, don't do that again. And uh, within a couple um, more tries, he hit me. But the second time, he um, had a 14-inch gash on my back. Wow. And I fell over. I just I couldn't breathe. And um, the medic came in and started working on me. But uh, at that point, then, then they had to move the mirrors to the front. And he had a camera here, here, and here. And he had mirrors. And I could then see it. And then they started digitally putting the whips in. Yeah, yeah. OK. Now, you were also struck by lightning. Now, I mentioned this last night, and, you know, I said, I don't have to be a religious scholar. No, if I'm dressed up as Jesus and get hit by lightning, I'm gone. Right. Okay? I'm, you know, I'm doing a, some other movie at that right. point. I mean, did, at what point did you say to yourself, well, hmm, this seems weird. Explain. Well, I, I'm up there, and uh, Jan Michelini, uh, lightning boy, we call him, was, was in the back, and he'd already been struck by lightning. <laughs> right there. Yeah. I don't even have to get struck. Just seeing him get struck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, it, I, I don't know what, it's a, it's a phenomenon. It's like uh, being an eye of a storm. And uh, uh, there were about three people close enough to me, and their eyes lit up. And at that point, I knew I was going to get hit. Well, of course, your hair starts to go up in, in the air, and you look like Bozo the Clown. And uh, I got hit. And uh, um, I, uh, I, I remember looking up, and I said, my God, you didn't like that take? <laughs> and uh, so actually, I did say, I was, you know, uh, I'm not making that up. <laughs> now you got hypothermia as well, right? That's correct. Um, we we were because uh, you're outside and you're wearing a loincloth, and it's it's winter. Yeah. yeah. We were on a thousand foot cliff. Um, it's like going to the Grand Canyon and sticking the cross right at the edge of the the cliff, and you see all these people in parkas, and you had 30 knot winds coming up, and I also separated my shoulder. And the, um, during, the, during the, the crucifixion scene, the cross kept moving back and forth, and it kept jarring my shoulder out. I couldn't eat. The hyperthermia was right. making me absolutely nauseous. The, the thorns was killing me. I was hyper-focusing. And uh, to, to boot, with all that going on, uh, sometimes even Mel left me up there on accident, you know? <laughs> That's um, no accident with Well, Mel. there was a duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a bad day. Yeah, you just leave me up there. Um, we had an actual dummy. I mean, we, we had a dummy, but we really had a dummy. Right, uh, right. <laughs> the, they would use this robotic dummy, and right. I think sometimes he thought, oh, God, it's, I, I, it's the other dummy. I'm Ron, sorry. Yeah, right, wrong dummy. <laughs> now, what is this clip we're going to see? This is a... Uh, oh, this is in the garden again. This is a very powerful scene. That, this needs some setup. Explain what's happening here. You know which clip uh, this is? This is, uh, well, this is me, and right. uh, J Judas is uh, coming up to him, about ready to uh, kiss him and... and Betray him. And they're coming to take you away here, yeah. essentially. Okay, let's take a look. Great job. Congratulations, Jim. Just a wonderful, wonderful job.